we've got our hands on the Acer Aspire 5, an affordable, versatile, and responsive laptop designed for everyday use with a very solid feature set for the price. But in the hyper-competitive mid-range laptop market, how does it actually compare to the competition? And how is the Acer 5 to actually use? In this video, we'll be going over the key features, seeing who this product would actually be good for, how it compares to the competition, and whether or not it's actually worth your hard-earned money. So stay tuned and let's get into the video. To start, the Acer Aspire 5 has a sleek utilitarian look, and it should fit into most professional or student environments without drawing too much attention. I thought that the build quality was solid for the overall price, although the aluminum casing is relatively flimsy and prone to flexing compared to other higher end options. It has a thicker profile and it weighs around four pounds, which is light enough to carry between meetings and rooms, but you can feel it in your bag. It comes with a wider range of ports that makes it a very suitable workstation, including an ethernet port for hardwiring, along with three USB-A ports and a USB-C port for some future proofing, and it allows you to connect your peripherals. You can easily access the motherboard if you want to upgrade certain components, if that's the sort of thing that you're into, and it comes with a robust Wi-Fi 6 connectivity, which is very fast and reliable, and it provides a secure connection as you browse, along with a Kensington lock connector to keep it securely tied to your desk. It has a full-size keyboard, and I think that the number pad will suit office workers well, but smaller hands might prefer a more compact peripheral for comfort. I found that the keyboard was comfortable enough to type on throughout the day, but the short travel distance and flat keys felt a little unresponsive at times. The keyboard does come with modest backlighting, so you can see the keys better in dark settings. It also comes with an aluminum trackpad that readily registers your inputs, and it has a built-in fingerprint scanner for secure logins. If you're curious about the screen, it has a large 15.6 inch full HD IPS widescreen display that's great for getting work done or surfing the web, although the matte screen is somewhat prone to glare. The screen can also tilt back 130 degrees, which provides a wider viewing angle than many competitors in this price range, although a full 180 degree tilt would have made it a lot more versatile. It has a 1920 by 1080 resolution and it delivers a decent enough picture quality, solid color reproduction, and an intense saturation to boost the vibrancy. But the colors weren't accurate enough for serious photo or video editing, but it is definitely good enough for your average YouTube videos. While the screen isn't the brightest we've tested, it's still very solid for the price and it should work extremely well at nighttime. If you're enjoying this video and you're learning something about the Acer Aspire 5, be sure to give the video a like. It helps the channel out a lot, and if you're interested in updated pricing, check out the links below. The audio quality is very respectable for a laptop, which utilizes downward-facing speakers to provide an admirable bass response. You also get a 720p webcam centered in the top bezel that produces mm, not so great quality. I thought that the 4-core 11th gen Intel Core i5 processor performed really well. It delivers enough power to keep Windows applications running smoothly and handle most daily tasks such as streaming or browsing the web. We benchmarked it using Cinebench and it actually outperformed some of the Intel Core i7s from other modern laptops. While it's not strong enough for highly demanding processor-based workloads, you can get this laptop in higher configurations with more processing power. You get 8GB of RAM which is the same as the popular Lenovo IdeaPad 3, and I could run multiple applications with different processes simultaneously without dramatically impacting the performance. It's also good to know that it comes with an ample 256 gig solid state drive to store all of your files, and the SSD can really help reduce load times. You should be aware that you can toggle the fan's cooling modes with a keyboard shortcut, which includes a silent mode, a normal mode, and a performance mode to prevent overheating while it's in use, although I definitely found the fans pretty loud at the higher settings. You also might be wondering how well it runs games, and it comes with an integrated Intel Iris Z graphics card that can handle light photo and video editing and run a few low-level independent games. Unfortunately, it does lack a dedicated graphics core, which means that the gaming performance is subpar and it just doesn't render modern games that well. So playback won't be ideal, but the Aspire 5 isn't meant to be a gaming laptop. If you want an alternative option that's more geared towards gaming, then the Asus TUF A15 comes with the same display quality and RAM and a more powerful NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 GPU chip with four gigs of GDDR6 for better in-game performance and a superior 512 gigabyte SSD, but it's more expensive. I was also impressed by the battery performance, which gave me around seven hours of runtime, which is pretty average for the price range. 
It's worth noting that this is less than the 10 hour duration that you'd get out of the ASUS TUF A15, but it is enough to reliably get you through the workday. You can also moderately increase the battery life by dimming your display or limiting your web browsing, and it's useful to note that it takes around three hours to charge completely, which is on the slower side. Overall, I think the Acer Aspire 5 is a good laptop with a very versatile functionality and some very convenient options. With an impressive battery runtime and a relatively powerful processor, it makes sense why this is such a respected option. Sure, some of the other products we've mentioned outperform the Aspire 5 in certain areas, but this laptop does a lot of things well and it should suit most users. The Acer Aspire 5 delivers a solid all-around performance and it mixes in an impressive feature set with a budget-friendly price that's designed for everyday computing tasks. While it has some drawbacks, I think this is still a great option in this price range. But that's just my opinion. Let me know your guys' opinions in the comments. For links to updated pricing on all the items I mentioned, be sure to check out the description. And if you guys learned something new or you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like short, informative tech videos. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.